This is Eddie from Bluefish Aquarium with a quick tutorial on dusting your insects to feed your reptiles and amphibians. Today I will be demonstrating using our store's poison dart frogs. Dusting your insects daily is critical to your animal's health because it helps to maintain the proper ratio of calcium and phosphorus in their diet. Most available feeder insects on their own do not have a good balance of calcium to phosphorus. For example, crickets have a 0.1 to 1 ratio of calcium to phosphorus. While the ideal calcium to phosphorus ratio for most reptiles and amphibians is going to be 1.5 to 1. Adding calcium to your animal's diet is critical so that you can maintain the proper calcium to phosphorus ratio. If the amount of phosphorus they receive gets too high, they can develop metabolic bone disease or MBD. So when you're doing your daily dusting, you're going to want to use about a 50-50 mix of calcium and multivitamin powder. There are multiple calcium powders available, but the biggest differences will be between the calcium with D3 and calcium without D3. Uh, if you have animals that use UVB lighting, such as tortoises, bearded dragons, or chameleons, use the calcium without the D3, which will be the one in this green packaging here. This is because they're actually already using the UVB light to synthesize their own vitamin D, so we don't need to actually supplement it. Whereas with animals that don't need UVB lighting, such as frogs and nocturnal reptiles like crested geckos, they use the calcium powder with the D3 because they're not producing it using sunlight like the others do. So what you're going to do is you're going to use, when you're actually ready to feed your reptiles, you're going to use a 50-50 mix of the calcium to multivitamin, and you're just going to use enough that it will coat the insects when you use it. So it's really like in this cup, there's not a whole lot in there. It's just enough to coat the, coat the insects when you're feeding. And then what you're going to do is if you're feeding um, fruit fly cultures like I am to your frogs, you're going to want to tap this cup just so that most of the flies fall down to the bottom. And then you will tap it just until you have enough flies or insects for whatever to feed your frogs or other reptiles. And then once that is done, what you're gonna to wanna to do is you are gonna gently swirl them around the cup just until they are coated with a 50-50 mix that we just made. And now they are ready to feed your reptiles. Thank you so much for listening.